causing that interior push, uh, making Tom Brady feel unsettled and having to move his feet. Uh, that's one of the things that you can do to utilize to, you know, the get him out of his 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 rhythm. Like, so that was great. Uh, that we've seen great push on that side. Kendall Fuller uh, definitely balled out aside from giving up that touchdown to Mike Evans where he got he got played like a little kid. <laughs> he definitely tossed mm-hmm. him to the side like a little yeah. child. But uh, other than that, man, I think, uh, like you said, Jack Del Rio definitely played more press man coverage uh, that I've been screaming for them to do all damn year. Uh, yeah. But it's funny how that happens after the bye. I think if they could have adjusted earlier in the season to playing more press man, it allows – it allows them to create more pressure. And on top of that, uh, William Jackson to do what he does best, which is playing press man. Uh, he came in there and, and created a turnover in the beginning of the game. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think overall, you know, I was definitely impressed by the the two D tackles and, and Fuller for the most part. Can't really say anybody else. Like maybe De- DeAndre Carter, you know, he, he stepped in played a, a big role in the passing game somewhat and uh, also getting that touchdown, definitely uh, showcasing his wide receiver ability and aside from just being able to return kicks. Um, Yeah, I don't know why it took – I don't know why it took uh, Del Rio 10 weeks to figure this out either, man, his defensive strengths. Uh, this is what Miso is saying in the chat. Uh, I, I don't I don't get it either. Uh, but for, for me, I, I think – as always, like you talked about the defensive side of the football, and that was important. Uh, one of the things that stood out to me as I saw this per Washington football's PR, uh, Washington intercepted Tom Brady two times in the first quarter. Um, it's, his, it's, it's his first time that a team has picked Brady off multiple times in the first quarter since 2012. Um, I mean, for Brady, given that it's Brady, it's an incredible stat. But just understanding, I think it points to the the importance in which you you kind of brought up, uh, just just in general, is that this, this is a defensive – a win. I mean, you play well on both sides of the football. You have to score 29 points. You have to score more than 26. That's what I said in the, like during the middle of the game. You have to you have to score at least 26 to win this game. You end up scoring 29. It uh, works out well but both sides, but if it wasn't for the defense um in those moments creating pressure, uh you didn't get to, to Tom Brady at all. But and it's not this is one of those games where you talk about those pressure numbers or those um uh, pass rush win rates all those things this is probably one of those games where you can actually harp on that because it it visibly affected brady in both his moments where he passed the ball whether it's like throwing it to the ground throwing it away throwing at the feet of a receiver um it's those are those moments where you kind of sit back and say all right the pressure is getting to brady you're making plays and the secondary is playing well too um that one time they got beat deep too they're not they weren't really allowing anything over the top in terms of like throughout the entire game. Yes, that was press coverage and Kendall Fuller ended up getting beat on that. But for majority of the game, outside of that, you saw a lot of things where Brady had to take what was underneath. Um, Washington was very disciplined on the front end and the back end of the defensive side of the football. Um, and I mean, shoot, and it, I, it, it resulted in a really good day. Um, I'll put it that way. It resulted in a really good day. Uh, how much is your confidence in... Dale Rio in the off the defense the rest of the way to kind of actually solidify things on that side of the ball. Uh, I don't really have much confidence in anything in regards to this team. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's just kind of yep. week by week case. Uh, I just think when when it takes you past your bye week to figure out that the best thing that your secondary can do is press man coverage, I don't think anyone should have confidence in that. Uh, I think some of the players knew that as well. Like, hey, the best thing that we can do is play press man because when they play too much zone it it allows for so many holes to be open in that in that passing game um and when you tighten it up you know you didn't really see you didn't really see tom brady have a chance to you know attack the middle with the tight ends whether it be break oj howard or whoever was playing in the slot chris godwin you didn't really see those opportunities today and that's because of the press man and in combination with the interior pass rush. Uh, but it helps the pass rush when you do press. So now they have <laughs> they have more time to, you know, get to the quarterback and make an effect on the play, whether it be pressure-wise or what have you. So, you know, I'm just curious, like I said, how they utilize the rest of the defense now that they don't have Sweat and Young. 
I think we see Landon Collins become more of a blitzer and have an impact in, in that uh, that aspect of the game. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to too much. Uh, I'm just curious to see what they do scheme up going forward. What's going on, y'all? This is Jamal, and this is just your reminder that you can catch each and every live stream episode of the Trap or Die podcast Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern live on my Twitch channel. The link is in the description. And if you miss any episodes, you can catch the video on demand on my Twitch channel that takes you to each and every episode that you may have missed. With that being said, make sure you like, subscribe to my YouTube channel where we post clips of the show, clips of interviews, interesting conversations, game analysis, film breakdowns, but also where we live stream our instant game analysis from each and every Washington football game immediately after the game is over. With that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all be safe. I'll catch you next time. Hold hard in the trenches. Ask a nigga what he benches. Triple digits, nigga. Don't forget to mention. Hold hard in the trenches. Ask a nigga.